Let's solve problem 1512 number of good pairs. Given an array of integers nums, return the number of good pairs. A pair i and j is called good if num number at i index is equal to number at j index and i is less than j. Alright, so what they're saying is essentially uh, given an array, if you find the same number at two different index, then that pair of indices will be called as good pair. So you need to count such good pairs. So in the first example, one, two, three, one, one, three, I can make a pair with index zero and index three, which are one, both are one. I can pick, make a pair of index zero and index four, which are both one. I can make a pair of index 3 and index 4 which are both 1 and I can make a pair of index 2 and index 5 which are both 3. So you see uh, for every number if you see if encounter uh, you can pair it with as many same number you encounter before that right. So for example 1. Here I can, it's the first time I'm encountering it, so I cannot pair, I'm looking for the pair. Uh, it's not a pair yet. But once I reach at this point, I see this and this can pair. When I reach at this point, I can see that this can pair with this, as well as four can pair with zeroth index as well, right? So similarly in the second example, all fours are one, so I can, pair every number with every other number. So one first can be paired with, uh, th the last can be paired with all the three before that. The second last can be paired with the two before that and the third last can be paired with one before that. And the first cannot be paired with anything before that, can be paired with every, every integer after that. In the third example, all three numbers are unique. I cannot pair it with anyone. Right, so how I'm going to solve it? Simple, I'll keep iterating from left to right, and as I encounter, I'll keep storing the values in a map. If I encounter the same value again, I'll uh, keep updating my answer with the number of times I've encountered it before the current one. So let's look at it in code. Here I'm initializing m as the map initializing answer as zero going through the numbers array one at a time and i'm checking if the number current number is there in the map already if it is there already in the map which means i have seen that number before so i'll see the count of that number okay and answer add it to my answer count of that number in the map and add it to the answer I'll increment the count in the map here for future uh, pairs. Else, if the number is not there in the map, I'll add it in the map and initialize it to be one. And this is the answer that I'll return. Let's run and see. It worked for all three cases. Let's submit. Worked in 20 milliseconds, beats 36% of users. The best answer here is using i and j with double loop. This will essentially make the problem n square. Our approach makes it uh, in the order of n. Let's look at some other solutions. Yeah, this solution is using exactly what we are doing. They are also creating a map and looking up in the map for the count. So this this is how you can solve the problem 1512 number of good pairs. See you in the next video.